It's Saturday, September 8th, and here are three film choices for today. The first is called Every Day by the British filmmaker Michael Winterbottom. This one is something he's been working on for five years. It's the story of a woman whose husband is in prison, um, and uh, she has to, to raise the kids by herself, occasional visits to, to the prison to, to see him, but otherwise she's on her own as a single mother. Uh, it's told in a very kitchen sink, uh, observational style. It's not flashy at all, but what you do get is insight into these characters. You get the, the sense of the relationship extending over time. So they shot it over five years, and the characters grow over five years as well. So you actually see the children grow up over that time. You see how the relationship between the husband and the wife changes. At a certain point, having missed him for so long, she takes a lover, and uh, that becomes a part of the conflict of the story as well, because at a certain point he becomes aware of that. He finally does uh, get out of prison, and then it becomes even harder, because if it was hard to, to raise a family with your husband in jail, it's even harder when he comes back out of jail, and he barely knows his family anymore. It's a very beautiful story, and it really does feel like you're, you're capturing something that you wouldn't be able to see any other way. Shores of Hope is a drama from Germany, and this is the story of two young men who are best friends. They work on the docks in Rostock, and they dream of getting away from this repressive society. They're living at a time in East Germany when the Stasi, the secret police, were watching everyone's moves. They were getting people to spy on each other. The only way they can, they can get out of this place is to spy on, is to inform on one of their co-workers. So they face that moral dilemma. And at the same time, one of these two guys, who's played by the German actor Alexander Failing, um, who was in Inglorious Bastards, by the way, the Tarantino movie, um, he has to decide if he's going to allow himself to fall in love with a Vietnamese woman who's in East Germany on a kind of communist cultural exchange. Uh, he is attracted to her, she's attracted to him, but it's dangerous. It's actually taboo at the time for the two of them to have an actual relationship. So it's really a story about how the political conditions of this particular time and place affect the personal decisions that these two men make, and of course it ends up pitting them against each other as well. Very powerful drama, very well made, and you've got the discovery, I think, of one of the, the top European actors right now, Alexander Failing. I think he may be one of those actors who ends up uh, in Hollywood movies as well. He's got real screen presence, real charisma, and this is a great star vehicle for him, Shores of Hope. Thermae Romai is the biggest hit in Japan this year. It has broken box office records. Uh, just about everybody in Japan has seen it. Uh, it's a great popular comedy, and it's one that I really wanted to bring to Toronto as a gala. It's a story of an architect in ancient Rome and uh, he's a great architect, but he's frustrated because he's never able to complete his grand plans. Uh, and one day in the Roman baths, he finds a time portal, which takes him all the way into contemporary Tokyo. So he goes through this time portal, he comes up into a bathhouse in Tokyo, and all of a sudden he's surrounded by all of these great modern Japanese gadgets, which of course he immediately takes right back into ancient Rome. And it's a great kind of culture class story of uh, this man who, who is existing between these two worlds now, and the filmmakers are able to really understand the, the humor that you find uh, in between ancient Rome, modern Japan, the, the expectations and the, the, the conventions that they have about each other. It's a lot of fun, uh, it's played very broadly, and I think if you like Hollywood comedies, you're going to like um, Thermae Romae as well.